British officials laying wreaths on this foreign shore where so many were gunned down. Adrian Charles Evans, Charles Patrick Evans and Joel James Richards. The names of the victims read aloud, one by one. This was the moment 12 months ago when a lone gunman brought carnage to the beach. Angela Evans had to play dead as the attacker stood next to her. Back home in King's Lynn, her memories and her grief still raw. Every day I think about the poor people who never came back. And the people who were shot. And I think, what have I got to moan about? Just wish I could reverse everything and work a bit of magic so that those people didn't die. The legacy of the attack is written in the sands. The tourist industry is still struggling to recover. Bookings in Sousс are down by a third. Tunisian officials say the fewer the visitors, the greater the space for terrorists to claim victory. The authorities insist that security has been stepped up. British officials say they are planning to review their travel advice, but for now they warn tourists not to return to these shores. Orla Guerin, BBC News, Sousse.